Hey Pisces, hope you're doing well. This is Serendipity Tarot coming to you with your weekly general love reading. So Pisces, we're going to find out what is going on between you and your person at this very moment in time. This is a timeless love reading, but it can take place over the next several weeks. So this is mostly for June, okay, June 2020. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? So this will not resonate for every Pisces out there because this is a general love reading. So please do check your Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Also do check my channel. I have several general love readings for each zodiac sign per month that I post. So if this one doesn't resonate, you're bound to find one that does, okay? Okay, so Pisces, what is going on? You and your person... Keep in mind that the roles can be interchange or interchangeable, so feel free to switch the roles if it makes more sense, but please do not force it. Take what resonates and leave the rest. I am also doing private love readings, okay? So um, personalized love readings, so I will send it to you as a private link if we video recorded. So if you're interested, hit me up. I have a promotion going on till June 15th, okay? Okay, let's get right into your reading, Pisces. I'm curious to know what is going on. I have the Spellcaster's Tarot for the main spread and the Everyday Witch. To clarify it, if you're interested in purchasing these decks, please see the description box for the link to the Amazon account. So let's get it on, Pisces. Pisces, what's the recent past energy between you and your person? They're horrifying. Okay, so this is all about being committed. You guys could be in a long-standing relationship or very committed to each other in a recent past. It also could be a very strong-standing marriage here, Taurus energy. The current energy between you guys is the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This could be your energy, Pisces, okay? You could be very angry with this person, really standing in your power. They could also be very broken communication. You guys have, may have gone separate ways. Regardless, you're very disappointed in this person and you are not having it, okay? You may be cutting out um, any BS, okay, with that big old sword. You're not playing, okay? And you're letting this person know. So how does your person, um, what's going on in their mind? What's on their mind at this current time, Pisces? The Queen of Wands. Who is this They're, your person's dealing with? It's not you, Pisces. I don't feel that, that is you. The Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. This could be someone that they are pursuing, someone that they're passionate about, someone that they have a little fling with, okay? Because the Queen of Wands, she is very attractive, okay? Everyone desires her. There could be some kind of a passionate fiery connection that your partner is involved in that they're thinking about okay and that's probably why you're pissed and mad and it could be uh causing some kind of disruption in this past committed relationship that you have okay this is not for everyone but for pisces i know there's some of you guys who are dealing with this okay so this is your reading so how does this person view you okay your partner the emperor in reverse, they feel that you are out of control, you are a hot mess, your emotions are everywhere, they may feel that you are not making good decisions here, you're just um, not in control of yourself, okay, so you're angry, you're pissed, this person is possibly with a queen of wands, I'm just saying, someone who they're really uh, passionate about, um, they may have stepped out of this relationship with you, and they feel that now you're acting crazy, well, I don't get it, I mean, that just doesn't make sense to me. But let's find out what's going on in their, their emotions and feelings. Yeah, the Eight of Swords, they feel trapped. They feel bound. Okay, they, they feel like they can't make a decision here. Maybe stuck up in their head. Okay, Um. yeah, yeah. Their hands are tied. Their arms are tied. Their eyes are blindfolded. So they're very much feeling trapped. It, co it possibly could be regarding this Queen of Wands that's keeping them trapped. And, well, you're not happy. So certainly they feel like there's a pressure, a lot of heat coming from you. Okay, how do they see moving forward? The Ace of Cups in reverse, unrequited love. This is a big breakup. Yeah, there was a lot of love here. Let me look at this big old cup of love, okay? But it's in the reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is a breakup. This is you guys are going separate ways right now, okay? Not being in some kind of committed relationship that you guys were in the past. What action does your person see moving forward? Page of Wands in reverse. Well, they're, they're not confident. They're taking a step back. They may not even be communicating here with you, okay? So there could be a lack of communication, um, but really it's because they're, they're not confident. They're feeling powerless. Okay. And they also feel that you could be, um, very dominating here with the emperor in the verse. You could be just very, um, I don't know. It's coming from their mouth. Nasty. Okay. You could be very nasty, very controlling. And so this is making them wanting to take the back seat, wanting to pull back. Okay. Let's get an outcome card. Yeah. The nine of pentacles in the verse. Someone could be starting a relationship here. 
okay? Because typically Nine of Pentacles is about being single, being independent, or, you know, this is you guys just not feeling, um... As abundant, okay, not feeling like you're you're in their your stable place, okay. The Pentacles is all about um, you know money, assets, being uh, a stable, having endurance. But I feel like right now you can feel like there's a lack of stability, possibly because of some kind of commitment or some kind of loving relationship came to an end, and it could be because of this damn Queen of Wands. I mean, I can't get it over. I can't get over this. This Queen of Wands is here, and I don't know. It's a Pisces reading, and there's a Queen of Wands right there on your partner's mind. I'm just saying. Okay, for the bottom of the deck here, the theme is the Ten of Wands. Someone's dropping burdens, letting go. And we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So that's what I'm feeling. I feel like, you know, the Ten of Wands in reverse, it also could be a completion, the end of a cycle here. But regardless, someone is maybe feeling they have a lot on their plate, a lot of responsibilities, and, well, they need to just let it go. They need to just drop it entirely, okay? Also, um, we have the Four of Pentacles. So this is about maybe opening up. OK, if, um, you know, you were holding back or your partner was holding back, this is like finally opening up, maybe being emotionally vulnerable, not being selfish, not holding too tightly onto something. This also you could be letting go of this situation entirely. OK, Pisces, if this person that you were dealing with went towards another person or, you know, may have broken some kind of commitment regarding, you know, a sabotage relationship. OK, I feel like you can just be dropping it now. OK, you could be just be getting over it. After being really mad, being upset, or being disappointed here with the Queen of Swords, okay? And you could just be like, you know what? I'm tired of it. I'm done with it. I'm dropping this entirely. And I'm letting it go here with the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands in reverse, okay? That's what I feel very strongly. Let me get some clarity. I'm using the... Oh, wow. You know what? I didn't want to use the Wheel of the Year. I want to use the Everyday Witch. I say I'm going to clarify one spread and then I pick up another deck. I mean, I clarify with one particular deck and I pick up a whole another entire deck. So I'm going to use the Everyday Witch. Okay, so let's get some clarity. Why is the Ten of Wands here? This is letting down burdens. Yep, you're letting it go because it, it caused a lot of heartbreak. Three of Swords. It also could be a third-party energy, but you just letting it go. This person made you too upset. It was so much emotional pain. It was a lot of worries, a lot of drama, a lot of just, yeah, emotional pain. You're letting it go. Four of Cups in reverse, so you may have been looking back on the past feeling regrets feeling like you just you're sad you got involved with this person with this situation and you're just yeah i feel like you want to move it on you want to let go of this really um you know this this heavy energy a lot of sadness and disappointment why is there four pentacles here so you may have been holding on to this person very tightly or trying to find out answers and now you're just like i'm done with it you know i don't care anymore i'm done i'm letting it go i want to be free i want to be free why is this four of pentacles here? And I don't get it. I mean, I'm, I I understand you. I don't get why this person... Yeah, page of pentacles. So you, you're wanting some kind of stability back in your life, okay? You're wanting to go after something that's going to be more reliable, something that's going to bring your, um, you know, you balance, balance into your life again, okay? So the Hierophant, uh, Hierophant is the recent past energy. Again, you could be dealing with the Taurus. This is about being committed. You guys are possibly committed to each other, um, really in a stable relationship, um, being exclusive in an established, yeah, established relationship in general, okay? The Hierophant, yeah, the Fool, you guys may have taken a leap of faith. You might have even recently started this relationship with the person or again had a lot of different breakups and now finally decided you wanted to be committed to this person take a leap of faith move things forward have a beginning and you just went for it and now you're just like well i regret it because look what it ended in a big fat three of swords energy a lot of disappointment a lot of heartache okay it also could have been a third party because again we have a queen of wands in the pisces reading i'm gonna keep saying that guys Okay, so the current energy is the Queen of Swords in reverse. So Pisces, you're pissed, you're mad, you're angry, you're disappointed, you're cold, you're detached, you're not communicating with this person. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Because they were breadcrumbing you, okay, they were giving to other people, they weren't putting all their time, energy, and attention to you and making this connection grow, they may have stepped away. Six of Pentacles in reverse, there's a lack of reciprocity, things are not being equal here, a lack of balance, okay? So your partner was just fooling around, they weren't taking you serious, Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Why is the Six of Pentacles here in the current energy? So that's why you're mad. That's why you're turning your back on this, okay? And you're demanding the truth. Temperance, okay? So yeah, so you're all about balancing, okay? The Temperance energy is about Sag, 
uh, major arcana for Sagittarius, but this is about bringing balance back to your life, doing things in moderation, and healing, healing from this because this person left you feeling un um, less than or feeling like you didn't, you weren't worthy here, okay? Because they may have given their time and energy to someone else here with the Queen of Wands being in a Pisces reading. I'm just saying. Who is this Queen of Wands? Why is the Queen of Wands on Pisces partner's mind? Why is this Queen of Wands? Eight of Swords. I mean, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, and we have the Queen of Swords. I'm sorry. So I do feel... I don't know why there's a Queen of Swords here now um, in the upright. So it can be you. Okay, maybe something... Um, they may have been entertaining, you know, possibly Queen of Wands or having some kind of communication, okay? Um... And then you just you may have found out about it. There was some kind of truth or clarity that came out regarding this person, possibly. Um, and you have cut it out. You cut out that BS, okay? This is you standing in your power, wanting some kind of truth, wanting some kind of honest communication here, all right? And then you may have, you know, just detached yourself entirely from this person, okay? Take it how it resonates. But I also have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So there's some kind of breakup here, okay? There's a, um, a broken relationship, a broken marriage, or a broken commitment here, okay? Because you guys were in some kind of established committed relationship in the recent past with the hair front there but now it's coming to an end you may feel like you know um there's a lack of a union there's a lack of abundance now okay with you guys being some kind of breakup and i think it's regarding either an air sign or a fire sign queen of wands all right so in the emperor in reverse this is how they view you so they view you as being very controlling very dominating um and just also not really like acting in the best light, okay? You, be, you could be very emotional or just not really in control of yourself. We also have the Knight of Swords in reverse. They feel like you may be lying to them or keeping something from them, not communicating. I think you pulled back for sure, Pisces, okay? But that's how they view you. They view you as being very um mean, possibly, to them. I mean, well, look what they did, right? The Eight of Swords, okay? In their emotions and feeling, they feel trapped. They feel bound, stressed, like they're seeing something clearly, um tied up why is this eight of swords here gemini labor Aquarius energy why is the eight of swords yeah because of all the damn conflict the drama the fighting and bickering between you guys that's why they feel trapped so that's why they're stuck up in their head they made a bad decision that's why okay and they got themselves in all this damn drama okay and a pot got too damn hot and so there's something that you may have found out about too you know with that queen of swords you know yeah she's angry she's pissed and so, yeah, now they're feeling, um, they feel like they're in a really tough situation and there's a lot of conflict now around them because, well, they caused it all, right? Five of Wands. Why is a Five of Wands here? Five of Wands, please. There also could be a lot of other people involved here with the Five of Wands, okay? Five of Wands. Why is a Five of Wands here, please? The lovers and it's regarding a soulmate um connection or something that you guys had that was very near and dear to their heart gemini energy so yeah there's a lot of conflict between the person that they really do love and i think it's because they cut you they did something that that um hurt you disappointed you or led to some kind of breakup here okay with, with some kind of commitment that you guys recently had now the ace of cups in reverse is how they see moving forward so they see as unrequited love they see possibly someone really holding back their love and not being a union not being able to come together here with their partner the lovers right the hangman okay the hangman reverse so feeling like things are stuck not able to move things forward okay and feeling like you need some kind of enlightenment you need to look at this through another perspective so they may feel like things are not going to be able to move forward right now because um yeah someone is closed and blocked to this connection and it's possibly because of the three of swords, right? The three of swords, someone um, wanting to just, you know, I feel like this is you, wanting to just lay down the burdens, be done with it, let down the worries, and, you know, because of some kind of disappointment and some kind of big emotional pain, okay? This three of swords, it's really, it really hurt them. It really hurt you, Pisces, okay? What else do we have? A page of wands in reverse, and this is the action they plan on taking moving forward. They plan on not acting at all because, well, they're, they're losing confidence and faith in this, okay? They feel that maybe you pulled back. They know that you're healing from the Three of Swords. They know they did you wrong, okay? Yeah, but they want to come back. The Eight of Cups in reverse, okay? So they walked away or somebody walked away. Regardless, I feel like your person, in terms of the action they want to take, they want to come back. They want to, um, you know, show their emotions, their feelings. They still have some kind of love here for you, okay? But they're not feeling too confident about it the page of wands in reverse so they're not really coming in with communication but they do want to start something back up because they're not happy they're not happy with with moving with, with moving away from you with 
leaving you entirely or, or getting involved with someone else or something here that they're feeling a lack of fulfillment. Okay. Ace of Swords. So they're going to come in with some kind of truth, some kind of communication, clarity, okay? Because I think you're demanding it, Pisces, okay? So you may be giving this person a hard time. And now with the Ace of Swords, this is about a beginning, being completely open and honest about what happened, um, what it is they want, their intentions, and how to move forward, okay? So that's the action they're wanting to take. They're wanting to let you know how they really feel, what's really going on, okay? They're not going to be passionate, but they're going to tell you the truth here. So that's beautiful. Um, and it's regarding them not being happy about, you know, leaving the situation and them wanting to come back, okay? Because that's clear. The outcome is a nine of pentacles in reverse. So this is kind of maybe um you guys getting in some kind of relationship here. It could be with this person, the tower. So you guys could be going through a really big, sudden, big, monumental change here, okay? I do feel like your person wants to come back. They want to communicate to you that they still have emotions and feelings for you. If they left, they do want to make a U-turn. There is right now, things are going to be feeling a little bit stuck right now, but they do realize that there's soulmate energy here, that they do really do care for you. There's a strong emotional bond, right? But right now, they're feeling trapped. They're not able to move forward because look at them. They're really feeling bound, okay? They may have gotten themselves in a really bad situation that's causing a lot of conflict, a lot of drama with you and possibly other people here. And they feel like you're just, you know, you're acting... A little bit of a hot mess. You're taking, you're very much in control and you're, um, you know, you're almost like pushing them away a little bit. You're very angry and it's, it's really causing this person to kind of think about how to, to approach you. Okay. I really feel like, um, they're not really sure how to get back in your good favor because you know you're very angry with them you're very upset and you may be also a little emotional that's how they view you okay and that's not saying that's how you guys are i know pisces are water and you can be a little emotional but hey regardless the outcome is a tower so there's going to be a lot of uncomfortable change just the universe intervening and saying that something needs to come be destroyed and come to an end before it can be built up on a positive structure wheel of fortune so a lot of positive change coming guys in this connection wow two major arcanas the tower and the wheel of fortune so there's a lot of positivity positive change positive outcomes that's taking place but it's going to be it's going to get worse before it gets better okay the tower card it's very uncomfortable it's very sudden it's it's very drastic okay but the wheel of fortune is it's turning in your favor ten of wands it's going to feel like you have to go up up a hill before things um really turn out for you um you know you, again, you release burdens only to get them right back, okay? So you could be revisiting this situation again with this person that's causing some burdens here, okay? Because I do feel like you're going to get back in some kind of relationship with this person. With the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, this could be you coming back together, okay? Because I do feel like this person wants to um, come back into your life, so you may be really considering it. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of change in this connection before you guys can just, like, go on and pick off where things um you know, left off. And, you know, you're going to be feeling like you're going to be going up uphill battles. There's going to be some worries and some, um, you know, uh, some burdens that you may feel you're carrying, you know, with, with taking this person back. Because I feel like, again, you're, you're healing still. So please don't take this person too quick. I mean, don't let them back in your life too quickly if they do want to come back. For those of you guys who are going to be opening yourself up to this person again, okay? If they were involved possibly with another um, a Leo, Sag, Aries, Fire sign here or possibly even a Queen of Cups. I mean, not Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords energy. But regardless, something is turning in, in your favor, okay? So it is going to get worse before it gets better. Know that. But it's going to bring positive change. It may bring some kind of enlightenment or um, you, you guys are going to be able to move things forward here with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So for Pisces out there who resonated, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and check out my other readings, guys. I'll be back next week for another love reading. Take care and stay blessed. Bye-bye.